How much does it cost to open up a medical marijuana dispensary? The information I'm going to use is from Barton Morris. He's the principal attorney of the Cannabis Legal Group, a Royal Oak law firm specializing in all marijuana related legal issues, including criminal defense, business law, licensing, consulting, land use, and real property. Barton is known as a cannabis law specialist out of Michigan. Having developed this expertise since 2008 with the enactment of the Michigan Medical Marijuana Act. He's a council member of the Marijuana Law Section of the Michigan Bar Association and chair of its science committee. One of the ways Barton was developed, has developed his marijuana law specialty is through the training he received becoming the only attorney in Michigan certified by the American Chemical Society as a forensic lawyer scientist maintaining a focus on marijuana related science. He's also a graduate of the pre prestigious Jerry Spence Trial Lawyers College and sits on its alumni board of director, directors. Barton maintains board positions with the DUI, Defense Lawyers Association, and the Michigan Association of OWI Attorneys. He also is on the faculty of both of organizations regular, regularly providing presentations and teaching lawyers from all over the country. Barton has been recognized professionally with several awards, including being rated 10 out of 10 by AVO, AVVO and a Super Lawyer Magazine Outstanding Attorney in 2014, 2015, and 2016. The Business Magazine also named Barton Morris a top attorney in Metro Detroit in 2012 and 2013 and named the Cannabis Legal Group the face of cannabis law for 2016. In saying this, let's get with it. What is important is that anyone who wants to open up a dispensary know what the anticipated cars cost are up front so they know what to expect within reason and can provide a strong business plan and executive summary. These documents are necessary for investors for a state issued license and it makes good business sense. The, uh, the, the cost explained, the cost that I'm going to explain below are of the startup costs in relation to a medical marijuana startup. Okay. Please keep in mind that the costs below are above are about average and can be increased or decreased based upon a variety of factors. It's kind of like building a house. You can go cheap or go expensive or anywhere in between. Further, the cost for a retailer who seeks to purchase their inventory wholesale will have lower startup costs than one who seeks to be vertically integrated and grow and process their own. The following estimates are for a retail outlet who seeks to purchase their inventory wholesale. Now, remember, all of this has been researched and put together so that you can have a better understanding of what to expect. And Barton, like I just read to you, is a lawyer specializing in marijuana law, okay? Property acquisition and build out. The largest, the largest percentage expense for a marijuana dispensary retailer is the cost to acquire the property and building. Once the property is acquired, then there is a cost to build it out per specification. 
Of course, this can vary depending upon the size of the building and the amount of work necessary to get it into shape. Leasing can be a cheaper option, but we recommend buying. The license will run with the property, so the owner of the property will always have a superior interest. When the owner is also the license holder, it is most effective and valuable. For example, the cost of a small but compliant building may be $150,000 with a build-out cost of $30,000. This number could be as high as $100,000. It just depends upon how nice you want it. Now you're ready for the equipment, okay? Equipment costs. The building is going to need a computer system, computer software, office furniture, waiting room furniture, display cases, display jars, scales, signage, and software. Plan on spending at least $20,000. This does not include the security system, which is discussed below. Professional fees. You're going to need an attorney for licensing, compliance, municipal, 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 <laughs> municipal lobbying, and real estate issues, a bookkeeper, and a kind of business consultant. After the look that up, it's a kind of C A N N A B U S I N E S S, a kind of business consultant. So, Sensibility is telling me. That means somebody who knows the business of cannabis. You're going to need an architect. An art architect will also be necessary to perform the required site plans. There will be a standard operating procedures that need to be written, security and inventory plans, waste management plans and business entity documents like management agreements. You can plan to spend about $30,000 over the course of about a year. Application and licensing fees. To obtain the licensing necessary, you must first pay the application fee. You can expect about $5,000 in the application fee. Once your application is accepted, you can expect about $10,000 to $15,000 in licensing fees. Both municipal and state licensing fees will be required. Security and surveillance. This is a huge necessary expense, which will also be state mandated and regulated. Plan on having a security system that is online with the Department of Licen Licensing and Regulatory Affairs. Their Marijuana Enforcement Division will have 24-hour access to your live feed cameras, which will be required in certain areas of the business. You may want extra for security for sensitive areas. Plan for a minimum of $20,000 expense. Wages and staffing. Your business will have to have a startup expense for the wages of your employees, which will also include key employees and managers. A business should expect to be to a set up to set up at least three months of staffing costs to get started in the event there is not an immediate profit. That'll be about $60,000. Insurance, yearly, <clears throat> yearly premises and casualty liability, liability, yearly premises and casualty liability insurance costs will depend upon the size of the business and also its location. You should certainly expect the premiums to reflect the risky nature of a marijuana related business. It would be necessary to have a, have a products liability policy as well. There may be $15,000 
dollars per year. So an average startup cost can be between four hundred thousand to five hundred thousand dollars. Of course, there are always small expenses that are not easily forecast, but they should be nothing that stops the plan to get started. Okay, like I said, the, the video that I put out before this about marijuana, the prison system, being on the stock market, like I said, I'm being responsible. I'm letting you know what this is about. And based on the 500, the $400,000 to $500,000 as a startup cost, if you really want to do good business, this would be the way to do it. Right here, you're going to see the name of Barton Morris because cannabis legality is his thing. He may not be located where you are, but this would be somebody you would want to get in contact with. And this is a black man. I'm not saying all black people are for us, but in this case, this is the best place to start. The next four slides will give you the dollar amount involved in getting this business up and running. And then the fifth slide, I basically cut it out so you could see what it will cost if you do group economics. Practice group economics on this because this is an expensive venture to take on.